work in the transgender community. This is a topic that a lot of us can relate to. We know people in the community that have worked as trans sex workers. I have a couple statistics that I wanted to throw at you guys. One of them is that one in 10 transgender sex workers have been sexually assaulted by the police. 64% of them have been mistreated by the police and about 33 to 43% of sex workers in the trans community are of black or Latino descent. Mm. So I think it's a very important topic that we need to discuss mm. because we do have that connection. I know from personal experience that we all know someone in the sex trade yes. industry and it hits very close to home. So I know that is something that unfortunately a lot of our sisters feel that they have to do I'm one of those people that I feel like there's always other alternatives for them, but I haven't been in their position. So yeah. I actually read on one of the surveys um, that one of the largest surveys for trans, like over 6,000 participants, um, that 11% of transgender women um, engage in sex work compared to the U.S. average of women, 1%. So, I mean, it's really something huge in our community. So, and it comes I mean, down to a lot a of the fact that, that we can't find work. Mm -hmm. Trans people are discriminated very heavily in the workplace. Yeah. So you got to pay for those hormones and your meal yeah. and the roof over your head and people and the resort, surgeries. Yeah, and people resort to what they have to. Of course, like to bank on what Kayla's saying, as a human being, it's for them to survive. What are you going to do? What are other things for them to do? But to resort to that in order for them to basically like make a living you know and be able to live you know unless they're given um jobs and an opportunity for them to be able to have a decent work in order for them to have a decent lifestyle it's not gonna stop and yeah. i think and we need to destigmatize it as well because so many people are, are made to feel shame because of what they do we're well, not gonna mm -hmm. shame them but are we gonna sit back and watch women get killed that happens a lot and unfortunately that is one sad reality that a lot of transgender women in the mm -hmm. sex trade industry will be victims of violence and this is something that that's why i think we need to figure out a way to encourage these women to find other alternatives what can we do because i mean i i'm speaking from a place of privilege i came from a supportive yes. family mm -hmm. i i have and I hate to say this, but I think possibility a uh, privilege that helps me get jobs in places that maybe people that don't have those privileges are not allowed mm. to. So my take on that is if you are a transgender woman who is a sex worker, I would say that perhaps it would be good if they save a little bit for them to educate themselves on whatever they may like. Because your education also can be your key to having a job. And until you have a certain type of education and present yourself. And there's a lot of and resources. Everything. Exactly. For the, That's for the, the only time that you're going like to be given a chance. Because if you don't even educate yourself. Then sometimes that education doesn't matter. It does come it's, down, it's unfortunately, to passability. To because living. if a job doesn't feel comfortable with you working in their for working in their workplace, they're not gonna hire you no matter how much education yeah. you have. I so know. it comes down to us fighting for the rights mm -hmm. of, of, of everyone to have the opportunity to work. Well, basically I'm saying this for them to have an option, basically, because we can always blame the system or things like that, but how about what can we also tell them for them to be able to like look outside of the box and what they can do for themselves? You know, I mean, like they do not choose if they're like passable or not. But let's say, for example, if you take cosmetology or esthetology, but not most everybody likely, can afford that education. That's, that's the reason that's why I'm saying that if they basically like do prostitution or if they're sex workers, if they could save something a bit, because you know what, taking cosmetology class or astrology mm -hmm. class. Um, is like one of the most affordable ways of educating yourself as well. That's so just basically what I'm um, using that as a way to be able to save money and then invest yes. in themselves so while to be able to get out of that. So um, while they're making a living, work, they're also um, saving something on the side for a better future. And that's okay. basically what I'm stressing out. And at the end of the day, we just have to remember that this is a harsh reality. Of course. And that it's probably not going to change anytime soon. I think yeah. what we it's need something to work bigger. for. It's something bigger than what it is really. Because yes. really, it's the it, we have to live. We need money to live. And if that's the only option for work for some of these women, then of course, it's going to be hard you know, for them to get out of it. 
Um, but that's why it's good for us to keep fighting for that equality so that everybody will have the same chance and um, even if they're not as privileged as us with a lot of like loving and supporting family you know, to be able to get us to the education that we need, to everything else that we need. Exactly. And just to kind of wrap it up, because I did talk about how, unfortunately, a lot of these sex workers are assaulted by the police and they are, you know, victims of our own justice system. So what I think we need to do is decriminalize sex working, sex workers in the, in the, in the sex industry. And I think that could be a first step. And then we can give them the tools. So I think this is something that we can, you know, continue to talk in the future because it's something that it's a very important it, it, it for, it, it it's it's very, very for all of us i think so with that i think we're gonna wrap it up until next time this is girl sex house Thank you for watching Girls Like Us. I hope you enjoyed this segment. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, please share, and of course, please don't forget to drop a comment. We would so be happy to hear from you. Bye!